All right, people, welcome back. More card review. So today we are looking at a pretty decent counter trap uh, that might be considered in the counter trap lineup. So this is Unwavering Bonds. Yes, and it looks like the person on the card has something to do with the person on Wavering Eyes. It's just just the thought of more wavering, like no more wavering. <laughs> so Unwavering Bonds is a counter trap card that reads, when your opponent activates a pendulum monster effect, or the effect of a card that is already in the Pendulum Zone. Negate the activation, and if you do, banish that card. So, I mean, it's a pretty simple card. Just Pendulum Monsters or Pendulum Scales, just banish it. And I like how it says banish, because uh, it seems like when you destroy something, you don't want it to go to the Graveyard. Generally, you don't want it to go to the Pendulum Zone. You just want that card gone. So I'm, I'm glad that Konami actually made it, so it says banish. So uh, whatever you, is being activated whether it be the pendulum monster on the field or the pendulum scale uh whatever pendulum scale effect is activating like you know for say scout you know instead of just you know destroying uh the scout and then possibly getting it back with like climate change or something no no it's banished it's it's gone you know or uh they activate a pendulum monster effect you know like a rodney or something along those lines just a pendulum monster that has uh, a pendulum monster effect on the field uh you can go ahead and banish that monster as well my only complaint with this card is that uh, it just doesn't deal with the Pendulum Summon, you know. And I know I'm probably asking for a lot, but the whole Pendulum Summon, nine times out of ten, that's what's going to get you. Uh, you know, sure, the, there may be times where the, the Pendulum Monster may activate the effect, and it's not very often that there's going to be a Pendulum Monster on the field coming after you using its effect. Uh, majority of the time, I mean, it's probably going to be like Luster, and he's probably going to go into like a Synchro Summon to Ignister, so there's really not to go off anything there. Nine times out of ten, it's just the Pendulum Scales tutoring uh, either the Pendulum Summon uh, monsters beating you down or uh, going to other places such as Synchro Summons or Xyz Summons. It's, it's generally not the, the Pendulum Monster that's handling you with its effect. Or the Pendulum Scales. As of late, there really hasn't been uh, a lot of Pendulum Scale activated. I mean, with Scout Out 1, we haven't seen much of Cleave. If I could really point at any finger uh, at anybody who's uh, really doing like, oh, it's a Pendulum uh, Scale effect that's being activated that you might want to stop, it would probably have to be Dragon Pit, you know, and uh, the Pendulum Magician deck. I mean, he's pretty much it. I mean, I guess also Wisdom Agnister too, so as soon as they have, like, you know, another Magician, they want to start, you know, uh, going playing uh, Wisdom Eye and start getting a different Magician, just be like, nah, let me go ahead and play Unwavering Bond, so uh, you can go ahead and just stop him and get banished, you know. And, of course, uh, we can't talk about Pendulum Monster effects without talking about uh, Plush Fire as well. So when they try to get cute with their plush fire, uh, it doesn't even matter if it's in the extra deck and it's like, hey, a plush fire is going off in the extra deck to summon Neo before me. You just be like, nah, I'm leaving bonds. You can go ahead, get out that extra deck, get banished. So uh, like I said, I just, I, I like that you're stopping the pendulum monster effects. I like that you're uh, already stopping the monsters in the pendulum zones, their effect going off, negating and banish stuff. It's just, you know, you also got to have something to back up the Pendulum Summon as well, because if you're only prepared with Unwavering Bonds with nothing to prepare you for the Mass Pendulum Summon that might be coming, uh, I mean, there's, wavering, Unwavering Bonds ain't doing much if you can't stop that Pendulum Summon and have them jump you, you know? Because like I said, it's not really the Pendulum Monster effects on the field that are getting you. It's off the field and what they're going to do with the Pendulum Summon uh, that generally gets you. So, uh... So I think that you should be like, oh yeah, this, this is definitely a three of them. Let me go ahead and uh, you know throw them in my main deck, throw them in my side deck. I I can't give it that. Uh, the best I can give it is to maybe maybe put like maybe maybe two, maybe one or two in your side deck uh, if you think that uh, you're having a very difficult time against um, you know Pepe Pepe you know uh, you know stopping uh, Luster from you know popping the other scale getting searched. Just be like, no, stop. You get banished. You know, uh, stopping. Uh, plush fire, so the specific uh, deck, but when you consider all the other top decks, uh, when you consider uh, Mad Spectres, I mean, you know, besides Luster, who else really goes off? Their pendulum scales are just pendulum scales, you know? They're just regular pendulum scales that just happen to have really good monster effects, so man, it's not really going to work against Mad Spectres. Of course it's not going to work against Kondos, so I really can't recommend it, you know, I really can't recommend it, so I'd maybe say, maybe side it. And uh, it seems like it might be a pretty decent counter trap for uh, the whole Arodinate lineup. Now, of course, 
Uh, Rodney's a very good uh, pendulum monster with, you know, with Wavering Eyes at 3 and Luster at 3. It just seems like being able to pop a Rodney and then just reveal 3 counter traps and your opponent, you know, picks one to give them to your hand. Uh, it's not really being played in the LCG. Uh, they say it's kind of inconsistent with how how well you can pop her and, of course, the counter traps that you run. And, you know, they have an additional counter trap, i.e. being Judgment. They have Judgment Warning and 3 Nose, and they don't even really run her anymore. Uh, and, like I said, like I said, the one, they say one of the problems with running her is that there's just not enough counter traps to reveal. But, uh, you know, if you could throw in some more counter traps, whether it be, you know, uh, some uh, Great Horns or, you know, this, uh, then you may be able to go ahead and reveal and show more traps and get more use out of Rodney. So I, I'm thinking that uh, just the way that things are going down the road and uh, how we're just going to go into like this tier 0 format of just, you know, Pepe, I, I can definitely see this deck, this card right here, being a definite uh, side deck counter to uh, just facing down that best deck and also for Rodney and use against the mirror match because that just seems like that's where it's gonna head to as well. Like, yeah, I'm gonna go when I want to get when I get my morning, my notice, you know, then I'll go ahead and just reveal, you know, wavering bonds or great horn. I mean, you know, whether you activate your pendulum monster effects or you pens in someone will fuck you up, you know. So, uh, just uh, maybe if you just go ahead and push in some more decent counter traps that are worth the time, then uh, you will get more out of a run in a. So I definitely think this deserves to be in the lineup. So tell me what you guys think of unwavering bonds in the comment section below. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review. Of course, I'll be back Wednesday with another card to look at. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And yeah, see you guys on Wednesday.